Hello, hello! I've made videos about Alibaba before, but uh, in this one I'm gonna ma be making a short version of that. It's going to be about two to three minutes, and uh, we'll examine Alibaba's uh, financials. Let's go! So, outstanding shares here, 2.71 billion, up a little bit, so the company is diluting investors slightly, not much, but not great to see. Uh, boasting a forward PE of uh, 14 here, which is very, very low and great for investors, obviously. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at the income statement here. And uh, quickly, just want to gaze at uh, the net income here, uh, which is uh, sitting at uh, $20 billion, which is awesome and keeps increasing year over year. Balance sheet of the company, you will see here that the total assets of the company 267, the total liabilities um, are uh, 97 and the total equity 170, up from 46 in 2017, 46. Cash flow here. Operations, uh, operational cash flow increasing from 12 to 30 in the last 12 months and uh, a little bit of investing, normal, usual stuff. Company is also uh, buying back shares and uh, a little bit and also paying some debt and also got some debt back in 2021 and 2020. The company actually got some debt. Free cash flow of the company from 10 billion to 25 billion, almost a cash printing machine here from uh, Alibaba. And uh, let's take a look at solvency. The solvency ratings, very low debt here, almost negligible, 16%, not, uh, not a big issues here. And an amazing profitability here, the return on assets are really good, 11%, uh, 13% with a very low debt as well, which also matters. And um, multiples here, again amazing, very very low, look at that, they used to be 13, 10 and now they are 2.5, 2.3. The lower the better here because we're talking about the price of the stock when you compare it to the sales of the company. So you want to be getting a lower value here. And so the cash flow of the company is at, it's sitting at, uh, let's say, 25 billion right now and the market cap of 333 billion. And as you can understand, this is a very, very low multiple to cash flow. So if you give it a multiple of 15, you're actually surpassing this. And so right now the company is making money hand over fist, which is uh, amazing to see. So the company looks to be a buy. Um, an awesome company here that's making a lot of money, having zero debt, almost very little debt and uh, also uh, is at a very very low price right now because it has fallen off a cliff lately uh, some disturbance uh, you know with china and, and some us and china uh, regulations uh, issues however in the long run i feel that uh, the company will keep making the money that it's making and will increase its price potentially multiple times over so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this very very quick video and if you liked it let me know because i will be making more similar videos that gonna be that, that, that are going to be about two to three minutes so i'll see you in the next one bye bye